hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video in today's video i am going to talk about ios 18.3 beta 2 so i was expecting to get the ios 18.3 beta 2 today but it is not out which means it is not coming and it might going to come after the holidays so in this video i will talk about when we can expect to get ios 18.3 beta 2 I will also talk about iOS 18.3 beta 1 that how the performance is going on and how the battery life is going on and if there any sort of issue that is going on. So I will talk about these th three things in this video. Now let's start with the very first thing. If not today, then when we are going to expect iOS 18.3 beta 2. So if I go to the settings over here, while I'm shooting this video, it is 1140 as you can see and i have selected ios 18 developer beta for the beta profile but there is no update as you can see and uh, <clears throat> for now i am running ios 18.3 beta 1 as you can see the build number over here it is 22d5034e so when we are going to get so i was expected i did talk about that in my previous videos couple of previous videos that if you are not going to get ios 18.3 beta 2 on 23rd december then there is no chance that we are going to get this in this month and my expectation is that we are going to get it after holiday holidays that is going to be around 6th of january i think we are going to see ios 18.3 beta 2 in the second week of january that is going to be around 6th of january or 7th of january hopefully in my another video upcoming video i will also talk about ai was 18.2.1 so make sure to subscribe the channel for that video now coming back to it now how the 18.3 beta 1 is going on i'm using this update from last one week now i updated to ios 18.3 beta 1 on last monday and today is also monday so i'm using it for like seven days now and over everything is going so far so good now if i go to the settings and show you the battery life for battery stats of couple of days so you can get the idea that how the battery is performing over here so in the last 10 days over here maybe i choose to go on um this day over here now over here as you can see i used almost 90 to 95 percent of my battery life and for that i got screen on time of seven hours which is decent on this day i used like 75 percent of my device and I got 6 hours and 51 minutes on which I use Instagram, YouTube, WhatsApp and some other applications. On this day, I used just 50% of my device and I got 3 hours and 29 minutes of screen on time. Today, I used like 75 to 80% of my device and it is 7 hours and 15 minutes in which I use TikTok a lot, Instagram a lot and some other applications. Now, this is not the best um, screen on time. It is slightly lower than the 18.2, but still it is very good. It is decent. It is not bad. It is good, but it is slightly lower than the 18.2, and which is quite obvious because it is the first beta. And when the more betas will come out, it will start to get more stable. So for that, I think battery life is decent. It is good. I'm pretty much satisfied, and I'm expecting that in upcoming updates, it will get even better. Now, if I talk about the performance, well, I am using it like as my daily driver and I haven't seen any performance issue. I haven't seen any lag or anything. I have like encountered nothing like that. And so far, everything is going really, really fine. If I go to the CPU benchmark over here and the CPU history over here, this is the last Geekman test which I ran like a couple of days ago running 18.3 beta 1. I got 2364 on a single core while 5907 on a multi-core. Now these scores are quite decent. They are one of the best scores. Like it, yeah, if I show you the average iPhone 14 score, that is 20 to 42 and I'm getting 2364, which is insane. And at the same time in multi-core, there is a huge difference of the average iPhone 14 score and the iOS 18.3 beta one score as you can see. So yeah, on paper scores are really good. They are also really good when it comes to GPU benchmark as it is the, the last GPU test I ran. I got 21443 over here as you can see, which is like way higher 
than the average iPhone 14 score. So yeah, on paper performance seems really good, performance also seems really decent. So so far in this video, I talk about three things. Firstly, I talk about the when we can expect to get iOS 18.3 beta 2. I also talk about the battery life of iOS 18.3 beta 1 and I also talk about the performance of iOS 18.3 beta 1. In my one of the upcoming videos, I will give bring a review video of iOS 18.3 beta 1 after using it for a week. Well, this is all from this video and I will see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.